Hey what is going on guys, my name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video I am going to be teaching you guys the best, the ultimate way to make money in GTA Online. And I did a video like this about a month ago, but in today's episode I now actually have the best money making methods and it doesn't matter if you are on Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Xbox One or even PC, there is a money method for you and your desired platform of choice. and your desired preferences as well because there's more than one method per platform which you guys can take advantage of. And you guys absolutely loved the previous episode so I'm going to set the like goal of this one to 5,000 likes. If we do manage to smash that goal of 5,000 likes that'd be absolutely crazy guys. I know we can do it. Everyone just smash that like button. Let's try and get that goal of 5,000 likes. And before we dive into this episode I just want to quickly briefly let you guys know of the company who sponsored this episode and this isn't like any other sponsor. These are the guys up at Opinion Outpost. They're great friends of mine and they have this website, I will leave a link in the description below, in which when you sign up to it you will have a list of surveys and each survey takes about 60 seconds to fill out. Once you've filled out a survey you will get X amount of points and once you've filled out enough surveys, once you've collected enough points, you can then use your points to redeem shark cards, cash, iTunes vouchers, whatever you guys want, whatever they have on rewards at the time, you can use your points to redeem them and essentially get free shark cards. So if you guys want to take advantage of that, I will leave a link in the description below. Absolutely awesome guys. I've used their site, loads of my friends have used their site and I have mentioned them a few times in previous episodes and you guys seem to absolutely love these guys as well. So once again, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. But let's get straight into things and let's get into the huge ultimate money making guide. So this guide was made by a user on Reddit known as Nathan and he essentially created a guide guide which would apply for any platform of your choice and any preference of your choice as well. And even to this day I haven't seen a guide better than this one. So going straight into the methods he basically gives a small briefing on every possible way you can make money in GTA Online. Of course not every single method just the best ones so if you guys could think of the best methods it's in this guide and it will tell you exactly how much money you can make per method per platform as well. So going straight into the obvious a really good way to make cash and this can be one of the best ways to make cash is simply by completing missions. However, although you can earn up to $25,000 per mission you complete, if you are a low leveled player this of course will not apply to you because you have to be a high level to get these higher paying missions from Lester and Martin. So if you're a low level then of course missions might not really apply to you but if you already have a decent level in GTA Online you can seriously rake up a lot of money using missions. And if you guys are wondering which mission will pay you the most, as long as it's from Martin Martin or Lester, they are the highest paying missions. So Lester and Martin are the ones you want to look out for. And what's good about missions is that this is universal. It doesn't matter what console you're playing, missions will always have the same payout. So just make sure you're a high level and you can take advantage of missions and you can actually rake up a lot of money. And for those of you guys who didn't know, if you set the mission to normal or hard, you will get more money as well. Normal means you get 25% extra money and RP and hard difficulty means you get 50% extra money and RP. So if you guys want to go the extra mile, set the mission to hard and you will of course get far more money than you would if you didn't do so. So make sure you set these missions to hard and you will get a lot of money from these missions. And also something else which I know a lot of you guys don't know is that if you do these missions, and this was as of patch 1.16 for last generation consoles, for newer gen it is the exact same as well. But Missions will now vary on how many players you have in the mission in terms of how much cash you get. Now this is something Rockstar Games added in recently, but essentially if you do a mission with two players, you will get 10% extra cash. Three players, 20% extra cash. Four players, 30% extra cash. So when you do these missions, you're going to want to make sure you set it to hard difficulty as well as have four players as well, just to maximize exactly how much cash you can get and also something else which a few players brought up is the longer you stay in the mission, the more money you get from that mission. So it's okay to time waste a tiny, tiny bit. And especially recently, if you guys haven't noticed, Rockstar Games have been giving us a lot of double money and RP jobs. So the best thing to do is to look out for these jobs. They're usually around every week or so. And if you do see one, make sure you play it. And of course, adversary modes will pay you a lot more money in my opinion. You can make up to $100,000 a game, sometimes up to $200,000 a game. I 
I've heard cases of people even getting over $200,000 per adversary game. So make sure you guys do look out for those missions because they can pay out a lot of money. Okay, so this next tip isn't exactly a way to make money, it's a way to save money. And this is mainly for you guys who have just started playing Grand Theft Auto Online or anyone who is tight on money and you don't want to spend too much. But of course, when playing free mode sessions with other random players in online, uh, they can of course destroy vehicles, they can really interrupt your game and you can end up paying money to get your vehicles back, which is the most frustrating thing ever. So this is, like I said, a poor man's trick, which will allow you guys just to save enough money in online to save up for whatever you guys are getting. And if you guys have any sort of free space in your garage, make sure you go around the city and find as many Galavanta ballers as you can. They're worth around $9,000 or so if you want to sell them, but that is not the purpose of these ballers, because what you want to do is drive them in your garage, because this is one of the only vehicles which you won't have to pay insurance on it. So basically, it's a free car, and even better is that as you bring it into your garage, it will add a free tracker. This means if you go around the city in the Galavanta Baller, not only is this car a really nice vehicle to have, it also means that when someone destroys it, they will get a bad sports warning, and they will of course have to pay for destroying the car, and you won't have to pay for it as well. So it's just a really good way of making sure that when you drive around the city, you won't be paying for your vehicle if someone else blows it up. So it's just a really easy trick which you guys can do, especially if you're tight on money and if you want to save some money as well. And this works on all platforms. And this next trick, I can tell some of you guys are going to enjoy because I know there's still a large community on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and this is actually going to apply to you guys. So if you're on if you're on PlayStation 3, if you're on Xbox 360, these two tips you're going to love. So to start things off, there is something called Lester's Cop Diversion. And since the heist update, Rockstar Games have basically given us this ability to have this secret mission in online which can give us a lot of money. This was added in on PC and other consoles, but it was later removed for some reason. So you can only do this on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And all you're going to want to do is keep killing the cops for about four minutes or so until you get a notification and a purple circle on your minimap. All you're going to want to do is go inside the circle, get a wanted level, and lead a police chase on for five minutes. That's all you guys have to do. Of course, if you have a tank or an armored Karuma or any sort of armored vehicle, this will be ten times easier, but a police chase for five minutes isn't even that difficult. If you survive the entire five minutes, you will get $10,000. Four minutes, $8,000. Three minutes, $6,000. Two minutes, $4,000. And of course, if you do it in one minute, $2,000. So this is just a really easy way to make money if you're on a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. And I know it's not really a trick which many people talk about, so it's kind of secret. So if you guys want to make some money fast, that is how you can do so. And there's also armored trucks as well. This, of course, was also removed from next generation consoles and PC, but it's still left in PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 consoles. So these are completely random, but if you see an armored truck on your minimap, go over to the truck and just rain fire down on the truck and they will pay anything between $7,000 to $20,000 on these armored trucks. You will also get a two-star wanted level, so make sure you are aware of that. But it's, once again, a really easy way to make money. And this is only for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 platforms. And also another thing which you guys can do is Lester's Kill Target, which was introduced on the Independence Day DLC and was also removed from Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC for some reason. So this, once again, will only work on PS3 and 360 consoles. And occasionally, you will get an invite from Lester saying kill target. If you accept it, you will get a red dot on your map. It is just a random NPC. All you're going to want to do is find the NPC, kill it, and you will get anything between $3,000 to $9,000 for this assassination. It's a really easy payout, a really easy kill, but of course it is random. So just make sure you guys take advantage of that if you do see it. Once again, that is only for PS3 and 360 platforms. Okay, so let's move back onto every single platform. And this is of course daily objectives. I mention them in every single money guide, but honestly guys, this is the best way to make money for the least amount of time, but there's more risk involved. Now the way these work is that in the interaction menu every single day there will be a set of daily objectives. 
games. They can be as simple as parachuting from a helicopter or stealing a car. Once you complete a set of daily objectives, you will get $25,000 and 3,000 RP. You will be given three optional tasks to do and they're all very simple. So once you've completed these three tasks, you get $25,000. You can do them in about half an hour. It doesn't take long at all. I know some of my friends have done them in about 20 minutes or so. It depends on how fast you guys are, but it's not complicated. However, if you do these for a week straight, not only will you get $175,000 and of course 21,000 RP points just adding things up, you will also get an extra $100,000 bonus if you do them for all seven days straight. This is of course the weekly bonus. On top of the $100,000 bonus, you will get yourself 15,000 RP points. So essentially you will get yourself $275,000 as well as 36,000 RP points for doing them for a week straight. But don't worry guys, we have not finished. If you do them for 28 days straight, you will of course get yourself a further bonus of half a million dollars and 50,000 RP points. So let's just add things up. $25,000 times 28 is $700,000. 3,000 RP points multiplied by 28 is 84,000 RP points. Now that isn't including the bonuses. If you include the bonuses, the $700,000 will of course be given the extra $400,000 bonuses from the four weeks you've done it consecutively. So that brings it up to a nice $1.1 million. But don't worry guys, we're not finished there. Add the 28 day bonus on it, which is half a million dollars. That's a whopping $1.6 million you can make every single month by just doing these daily objectives. And of course, on top of the RP, you will grab yourself a lot of RP points. In fact, to be exact, you will get yourself a whopping 194,000 RP points. That's almost 200,000 RP points every single month. So if you guys take advantage of daily objectives, it takes no more than 20 minutes a day, do them for 28 days straight, and you guys will not regret them. In fact, this is the most efficient way to make money, but you must make sure you do it every single day for a month. Okay, so this next one is a very amusing way to make money, and this is by taking advantage of free mode events and if the event comes up called criminal damage you guys are going to want to take advantage of this event this is because criminal damage is not only a fun event to take part in all you have to do is damage the most things in five minutes and if you win you can win up to thirty five thousand dollars and even in free mode events, if you go into a random online session, not many people even participate in them. So this is a really easy win. All you're going to want to do is damage as many things as you possibly can. And it also gives you a pro tip as well. The best thing to damage is a tank, jet, or buzzard. Each one will give you between 800,000 to a million dollars for every one you destroy. So go into the military base and just destroy as many jets as you possibly can. And this will, of course, maximize your payout. But this amazingly amusing free mode event will bag you almost $50,000 for winning the event. And moving on to some of the CEO missions, this is of course is only for next generation consoles and PC. The best thing you guys want to do is to purchase the largest warehouse possible. Even if you're tight for cash, go for the largest warehouse. This is because if you get the smallest one, you can only do one crate, which of course will be $2,000. If you get the middle one, that's two crates for $8,000. If you do the third one, you will get three crates, which will be $18,000. So obviously, guys, if you get the first warehouse, the smallest one, you're not going to make too much money. But if you grab yourself the largest warehouse, you will get a lot of money for all three crates. So make sure you guys get the largest one. Okay, so the next thing on this list is regarding heists. I'm not going to really explain exactly how you guys can do them, but this is a pro tip if you're doing heists. And I understand some of you guys might already know this tip, but I just want to remind you guys, if you don't know this tip, and if you have a lot of time on your hands, you're gonna wanna take advantage of it. So when you are doing heists, the best thing to do is to do all of them in order. This is because if you do so, you will grab yourself a million dollars in bonuses. So if you start off with the Fleeker Bank heist and end with the Pacific Standards, if you do all of them in order, it doesn't matter if it's the same people, it doesn't matter if you're not doing it with the same people, as long as you do it, 
in order, you will get a million dollars in bonuses for beating all of the heist and their setup missions in order. So make sure you guys do take advantage of that, especially if you are planning to do as many heists as you possibly can to rake up some cash because it'll definitely save you a lot more money if you do them all in order. And I have heard many stories of players doing every single heist in a day. So you could probably do this in a day and you will get yourself a million dollars in bonuses. And on top of that, you will also get whatever payouts you allocate yourself as well so there's a lot of money to be made in heists. Furthermore Nathan also compiles a list of really good ways to save some money. In fact he gives us a list of cheapest properties and this is the list which you guys can see right now. Now of course the cheapest garage you can get is $25,000. This is unit 124 Popular Street but I understand this garage only has two spaces. So if you guys are really looking for a garage with the most amount of spaces for the cheapest amount of money, go for 870 Route 68 Approach. This is a garage with six spaces, which will of course cost you $62,500. But if you guys are looking for an apartment, the cheapest one you guys can get is $80,000. This is the 0112 S Rockford Drive Apartment 13. This apartment will allocate two garage spaces for a price of $80,000. And then of course, if you guys are looking for the cheapest apartment with 10 garage slots and also the ability to host heists, then you're gonna wanna go for the Del Perot Heights. This will cost you $200,000. And like I said, you get 10 garage spaces, an apartment, and the ability to host heists. So if you guys are really looking for some cash or if you guys are really looking to save some cash, go for the Del Perot Heights as it is the cheapest apartment you can get. Anyway guys, apart from that, that is pretty much the entire money guide. There's also some few things which I didn't mention which were included in that guide, but I'm gonna let you guys go over there for yourself so you can explore it while I just kind of brief you on the main things which you guys should know. But I hope this did help you out. I hope this did give you some advice on how to make some money in in GTA Online the best ways possible and the best ways to suit you and hopefully you picked up on a few methods which you guys are now going to take home and do yourself. As always guys if you did enjoy this video please don't leave without smashing that like button because it would be very much appreciated. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here and I'll see you guys next time.